Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Modifying the Electronics of Modern Classic Cars. It's for people who have cars of the 1990s and the decade that followed. What I want to talk today about is a really interesting device that can improve the fuel economy of your car. Yes, can improve the fuel economy of your car. It, it does so by advising the driver when he or she is driving in a way that is not best for fuel efficiency. Now, to work out how it works, we'll have to take a few steps back and explore a few other ideas. Now, you might have heard of the idea of brake-specific fuel consumption, BSFC. And it's a measurement of how much fuel is being used for how much power is being generated per time, per unit of time. So often it's expressed as pounds per horsepower per hour. And you'll sometimes see on engine performance curves a brake specific fuel consumption curve. Now, what people don't realise is that curve, those measurements, are taken at full throttle. And the reason that's important is because you're actually seldom driving everywhere at full throttle. At part throttle, brake specific fuel consumption gets worse. Why? Because the pumping losses are great. You're trying to drag air past the nearly closed throttle. So, to get best brake specific fuel consumption, it's best if the throttle blade is open a further distance rather than a lesser distance. Now, if you go full throttle, in many cars, more fuel gets added. The, the, the air fuel ratio gets richer. So what we're after is we want to avoid throttle positions which are nearly closed, and we want to avoid throttle positions which are at full. And you think, well, doesn't that depend on how you're driving and where you're driving? Yes, it does. But in many situations, you can go, especially in a manual transmission car, to a higher gear and have a wider open throttle and get better brake-specific fuel consumption. Hmm. So how do you keep all that in your head? Well, a little electronic module that I developed with a company called Electronics actually monitors two sensors on your engine management. One is throttle position. The other one is manifold vacuum, MAP, manifold absolute pressure. If you have a high manifold vacuum, which means that the engine isn't working very efficiently in terms of BSFC, and if you have a small throttle opening and the two are at the same time, the device switches on an LED and attracts the attention of the driver. Now, what should the driver do in that stage? Either back fully off the throttle, which turns off the injectors, or select a higher gear and use a wider throttle opening. Now, it's all starting to get pretty complicated, isn't it? But what it's doing is by measuring map and measuring throttle position, it's identifying when the engine is being driven in a way which is quite inefficient. Now, I, I developed this, uh, this module with electronics and I tried it extensively on one of my cars. And it's really, really interesting. Both of those parameters are adjustable for, for working on different cars, incidentally. It's really interesting. If you drive the car to always keep that LED off, you're working so hard because you've got to watch what's going all the time. You know, if the LED comes on, the LED comes on, you think, oh my gosh, um, I'm not using a wide enough throttle, or I should be in a higher gear, or I should be back right off, rather than just on a trailing throttle. Now, the tests I did indicated you could quite clearly improve fuel consumption because you were alerting the driver to the fact that they were driving in an inefficient manner and they should change. If you were already in top gear, then there wasn't much you could do. It would just indicate that, yes, the fuel consumption isn't as good as if you had a higher gear again. But, of course, uh, you're, if you're already in top gear, then that didn't matter. Did the device work? Yes, it worked very well. Um, is it easy to connect? Yes, it is pretty easy to connect. Um, why don't manufacturers use them? Well, they do. These days, a lot of manufacturers run an indicator on the dash in manual transmission cars that you should change up a gear, and an up or a down. Up, change up a gear, down, change down a gear. And they're mapped in a more sophisticated way than just watching uh, manifold pressure and watching throttle position, but they're achieving the same sort of outcome, guiding the driver to drive in a more fuel-efficient way. If you've got a digital dash and a programmable digital dash, it's pretty easy also to do that in the software. 
uh, I fitted a, a MoTeC digital dash to one of my cars and I actually programmed a, an indicator that said change up gear or change down gear and I was looking at a number of things simultaneously to activate that warning that included instantaneous fuel consumption, included manifold pressure, included what gear I was in and so on. So the device was called FuelSmart. It's actually still available if you're interested, um, but I think what's even more interesting than the device itself is the logic behind it. Actually identifying when the engine is being driven in a fuel inefficient manner and then alerting the driver at that point that they should change in their behaviour. It's in the book. The book is Modifying the Electronics of Modern Classic Cars and it's one of the little projects that I cover uh, over a few pages in that book. It's all pretty interesting stuff and I recommend the book to you. Thank you.